Okay, my alarm clock just went off. I'd like to uh, call this cultural and leisure service board meeting uh, to order, and uh, we'd like to have the roll call at this time. Jean Petrie. Here. Douglas Raymond. Here. Barbara McPeak. Here. Maureen Michelle. Here. M Mickey Kellum. Tim Bass. Here. Larry Holmes. Here. Thank you. Thanks, Gustavo. <laughs> Very good. We uh, came close to uh, perfect attendance again. Uh, so you guys have been doing a great job uh, making it making it to the meetings. At this point in time, we have a uh, public participation. If there's anyone in the audience in the public that has an item they'd like to address, uh, they have a three-minute uh, period of time in which to do so uh, of the board and. Uh, this opportunity presents itself now. Is there anyone that would like to uh, speak to the board at this time? Okay, hearing none, we'll move on to uh, the approval of uh, the minutes of our July 25th meeting. Did everyone receive a copy? Yes. Yes. Has everyone read it? Yes. yes. Excellent, okay. Uh, if you see any changes or corrections in these minutes, uh, Now's an opportunity to bring it before the board. Are there any changes or corrections? No. Well, hearing none, we certainly accept uh, approval of the minutes. I'll second that. Who's, who's I'll making a motion, a motion to approve the minutes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Doug <laughs> Raymond approved, and it was seconded by whom? Barbara. Barbara, okay. <clears throat> okay, moving on uh, to. Um, our staff report, all of us have received a very comprehensive packet of information from our director and Patty uh, with regard to the activities of this board and uh, I'd like to turn it over to Gustavo at this time. Uh, thank you, as, as you guys know, you guys are on the weekly update list and you guys all check it which is greatly appreciated obviously it makes a big difference everybody being engaged and knowing what's going on in your city um, the only few things I just want to make sure and touch base on are this Saturday we have um, the beach and kite festival that was postponed from two weeks ago uh, where obviously we had a storm on our hands that uh, we thought was going <laughs> to devastate our area uh, but luckily it, it made the turn so zero damage in Cape Canaveral so we're very lucky on that one um, but so we postponed it for this Saturday luckily almost all the pieces came together where everybody was still this was the one weekend before a very busy season for everybody so um, the young person who we partner with to hold uh, to host the surf contest the surf contest is happening and uh, we've tried promoting it it should be the neatest thing uh, this surf contest in particular is all soft foam surfboards so uh, very beginner oriented very fun it's not anything um, necessarily dangerous these boards are made so if they hit you on the head nothing happens so um, the young lady had the contest last year this year the county didn't want to work with her on doing it. We thought it'd be a perfect opportunity for us to host it here. Um, we're going to have the Central Florida Kite Club. They bring a lot of their big kites. Um, we may even have a special Olympics uh, surf team come out from Cocoa Beach High School. Maybe. So that would be a really neat surprise. Uh, A1A Beach Rentals is going to be there, and they're going to have this giant paddleboard that people can check out and try out for free as well as uh, 200 kites were given to kids first 200 kids free kites um, as well as a sand sculpture contest so that's this week and should be really fun um, and then upcoming in October obviously next week we have Friday Fest um, following a movie in the park uh, and then closing it out with Monster Mash which is going to have kind of the same footprint as Friday Fest we're closing Taylor and Poinsettia and uh, so we're expanding the Monster Mash area. We're still doing the Haunted House, 
uh, with the library. They've partnered with us for that event. So October is going to be super busy. And then into November again with Friday Fest, food trucks, movies. It's uh, the, the busy event season's kicking off. Um, and then obviously, I don't know if you guys saw, but we have the brand new mural on the racquetball courts, and that's a first for Cape Canaveral. Uh, hopefully one of many to come. So, uh, but those are kind of the highlights I wanted to touch, touch base with you guys. If you have any questions about what you've seen on the weekly updates or the report, I'd love to answer them. Is that the uh, giant sup from uh, ABC? Yeah. That's a lot of fun. We use it for the lacrosse team. We do summer stuff. Yeah. Hopefully we can maybe even put it in the surf contest. We'll see. Uh, be a good time. Yeah. What time is the, the kite in the park start? So uh, the kites we're starting at ten. And uh, the surf contest will start earlier because they have to register people. Um, they're taking registrations right there, and all the proceeds are to help this young lady with her professional career. Uh, and they have a ton of sponsors. They're going to be doing raffles of all kinds of goodies that surf shops have given her. Food? They're going to have food trucks or anything like Little that? Little League, I'm sorry, Joel. Little League is going to host concessions uh, starting around 8, I think, 8 or 9, pretty early because they're having wow. egg and cheese sandwiches, bacon, egg and cheese, sausage, egg and cheese, and then they're transitioning into lunch with hot dogs, hamburgers, and cheeseburgers. So I'm bringing a wallet full of money. I want to yeah. eat. <laughs> Sounds good. Yes, ma'am. I really like the, uh, the new bike repair, bike help thing. Yes. Yeah. It looks like it's going to last forever, too. It's really industrial. Yes, sir. That was uh, Josh and community engagement uh, as part of the branding of the city. Uh, they were looking for a spot, and we're like, we've got this spot for you. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's, it's spectacular. There's a big bike pump that you can hook up, and they have a bunch of tools hanging from uh, wires. I yes, sir. It and so it's always there, and it's right over behind the library. It's really nice. So in other words, I don't have to pay 50 cents to go to the gas station to get my tires pumped. <laughs> yeah. Well, your bike tires, because you got to pump it yourself. <laughs> We're putting one in at Manatee Sanctuary Park eventually as well. We're working Great. on that. Huh. Thank you. I really like this. Do you want to talk a little bit about the community garden scenario? Um, <clears throat> again, that community engagement hosts that one. What do you mean by the scenario? Well, the uh, you know with the uh, Cape View Elementary School uh, getting involved in the what is it the water barrels? Oh yeah, and again that's uh, that goes along cultural programs where um, <clears throat> Molly was in charge of that whole thing. Uh, and led it with Cape View where kids submitted drawings and uh, they chose them and she had them wrapped and then they wrapped the rain barrels with it. It's it's a whole thing about bringing art to the city. So, yeah. Anyone on the board have any questions or further comments on uh, the director's report? Very well done, uh, Gustavo and uh, very comprehensive. Uh, thank you very much for putting that together. Uh, we're at a point of uh, old business, unless someone has any questions again of the director. Hearing none, we'll move on to uh, old business. Is there any old business to come before this board? Wow. This is a real active group tonight. You said you, said you wanted to get out of here. <laughs> no, I know. I really, if I get out at 8, that's fine. That's no problem. We do what we have to do, but I'm uh, kind of surprised we don't have anything else. Um, so if there's no old business, uh, do we have any new business? Okay, Gustavo, you want to? Yeah, um, obviously um, we have two members that are termed out and we have two members that are here. Um, I'll introduce them real quick uh, from the, just obviously their application and the little I know personally of them, but um, at, at your convenience or you know, you, at your pleasure, you guys obviously want to bring them up and ask them a couple questions, but our two applicants, we're very lucky, are um, Joel Fair and uh, 
Joe's application speaks for himself, but we work closely with Joel because he is very involved with Little League. Um, and obviously he has young kids. He lives across the street from Canaveral City Park. His kids attained our summer camp. Uh, so Joel is involved with a lot with the city. And, uh, and Kathy Parks, she frequents the Nancy Hansen Recreation at least once a week on Fridays, uh, is very involved with the Turtle Preservation Society, um, helping save those turtles and release them. So I'm not going to take any of their thunder. I'll let you, uh, Gene, call them at your pleasure and ask whatever questions you guys want. And then obviously once you guys interview them, um, if, if the board feels like it, then you guys can make a recommendation that um, they be appointed at the board, obviously at the next city council meeting. Were there any other applicants uh, for the position on this board? Not at this time. Uh, Marlene stopped by my office this morning, and I said, "Well, the agenda already went out, and you know, uh, but you're welcome to submit an application." Uh, I know, for example, Mickey is running for office. If she was to be elected, she would have to give up her position. Correct. So I said, "It's always good to have." applications on board and then we have two board applicants uh, which I believe is you two ladies perhaps uh, you're termed out in October 2020 or if not termed out at least a year she has another year oh you'll have one more year okay yeah yeah I know and yeah so Maureen Michelle year, yeah. Uh, October 1st of 2020 and uh, yeah, Marlene was October 1st of 2018. Uh, Barbara, I, I don't know, I don't have Barbara's date. Uh, or Tim or Larry, but. Yeah, there was one more, there was yeah. one more. Yeah. So maybe it was Mickey after all then. I think, I know I turned out in 20. There were two, I saw two 2020s on there. It's yeah, that's right. It, I believe it's Mickey. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, yeah, I just checked that. It's okay. A 20th. Yeah. I suggested she at least get her application in. Um, so at least we have one ready. Okay. Yeah. And she would be eligible to come on the board effective when, uh, if, if she were so, you know, accepted. Yeah, yeah uh, uh, as soon as we have an application, and obviously at the next board meeting, we would just follow this process where, you know, you guys at least talk to her okay. and interview her and recommend her. Yeah. Okay. And she can serve on more than one board because, as you know, she's on the appearance board, community appearance, and she asked, well, uh, does that board do anything? And I said, that's an incredibly important board because that board recommends building <laughs> facades, uh, the murals, and all the outdoor art has to go through that board. I mean, it's a it's a very important board to the city. So uh, as far as their decisions affecting businesses and, and the public rights of way and all that, I said, it's a, it's a very important uh, board. Every time, like the multi-generational facility in the Cape Center, that had to go before the community appearance. Um, every new construction project has to go before the community appearance board to make sure that it matches with the criteria that the city has established for buildings and such. Okay, without further ado, Catherine uh, Parks, uh, I'd like to have you come to the podium if you would. Be an opportunity to introduce yourself. Uh, I know we have your application. It, it's, it's, uh, these applications are not an awful lot of detail, but again, uh, Tell us a little bit about your background and your level of interest in this board. Um, well, I've lived here most of my life. Uh, as far as uh, involvement with uh, any governmental entity in your background, is that uh, have you done any work there?
Okay. Okay, is there anyone on the board here that would have a question to Catherine? Yeah, I'll, I'll take one. Um, on your application, I see that I think you only marked Culture and Leisure Services Board as the one you're interested in. So what about, what about this board in particular are you really interested in? Well, thank you. All right. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, hearing none, we thank you very much. If you please have a seat, and we'll give this opportunity to uh, Joel, Joel Fair. <clears throat> Joel, we'll certainly uh, thank you for your interest, as is Kath, Catherine's as well. And... Uh, Tell us a little bit about your background and your level of interest in this particular board. That's when we have one. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Gene. Uh, <clears throat> right. <laughs> right, yeah, a weather machine. Good. Thanks, Joel. Uh, anyone have a question? Yeah, uh, what's your favorite park in the city? Oh, for me, it's obviously the ballpark. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, Joel. Uh, if you have a seat, uh, we certainly, uh, the board members have had an opportunity to uh, ask any questions. Uh, uh, we have two, two members that are here this evening. Both have applied for positions on this board uh, to uh, two that will be vacated here October the 1st. Uh, any questions by anybody, or was there a motion to uh, 
approve or disapprove of uh, either or both candidates? I'll second. second. Okay, Maureen uh, makes a motion to approve both Joel and Catherine as uh, board members, and it was seconded by uh, Doug Raymond. All in favor say aye. 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 Sounds like it's unanimous, folks, and uh, congratulations and welcome aboard. Uh, yeah. There's one well, more step, but uh, I think that. Yeah, they have city council yet to. I uh, don't think there'll be a problem with that. No, yeah. I think we've got two very good candidates there that will. It'll enhance the board. Well, certainly, uh, this currently, from my standpoint, and Doug, uh, we're going to be leaving this board. And, um, you know, I've seen a 15 year period of change since I've been here. Uh, when I first came on the board, it was uh, pretty much uh, recreationally driven uh, with uh, Nancy Hansen uh, at the helm at that time. And, uh, it's, tr it's uh, translated to uh, from recreation to cultural and leisure services, which is all encompassing. Uh, I personally want to thank each of you, your our current board members, our past board members, for their dedication and service over the period of time, and also putting up with me for the last 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my thanks to. Uh, Gustavo and Molly in particular, who've uh, spent quite a few years with, with me and many of the members of this board. And we now have Patty that's uh, prepared to carry the torch in the future. And uh, Patty, we wish you well uh, in your new endeavors, uh, as well as the new board members. Thanks to one and all for- uh, And we have, we have a couple presentations that I'll make on the podium okay. there. Yeah. The lights, there we go, okay, cool. All right, um, so we'll start with Gene, and Gene, I have a letter from the mayor that if you don't mind, I'll read, and then uh, if you wanna come up after, I'll give you your okay. certificate. Um, but it says, Dear Mr. <clears throat> Petrie, the city of Cape Canaveral would like to thank you for over 16 years of service on the Culture and Leisure Services Board. Your work and dedication on the board have been sincerely appreciated. We forward, to you this expression of appreciation for your diligent work. The city thanks you for your time and effort given to serve on the board. Your contributions have been worthwhile to help make Cape Canaveral a quality place to live. The city council and staff sincerely appreciate all that you have done. Wish you the best in your future endeavors and would be delighted to see you stay involved within the city. Sincerely, Bob Hogue Mayor. So I have a certificate for you, Gina. I'd like to give it to you and then have Patty take a little picture of us. Get <laughs> up. We'll put it on the weekly update. There you go. <laughs> the certificate. Come on, Gino, turn it around. <laughs> Very nice. Yay. All right, and we have another one here uh, for Mr. Doug Raymond. And again, uh, this is from the mayor. The city of Cape Canaveral would like to thank you for over nine years of service on the Culture and Leisure Services Board. Your work and dedication on the board have been sincerely appreciated. We forward you this expression of appreciation for your diligent work. The city thanks you for your time and effort given to serve on the board. Your contributions have been worthwhile to help make Cape Canaveral a quality place to live. The city council and staff sincerely appreciate all that you've done, wish you the best in your future endeavors, and will be delighted to see you stay involved with the city. And again, that's Mayor Bob Hope to you, Doug.
All right. I think that's it. My hands. Well, my up. many thanks to uh, Doug Raymond. He's uh, always tried to keep me walking on the straight and narrow, and he's kept me out of trouble a few times. And he's been a very steady influence on this board. And Doug, uh, certainly, I want to thank you very, very much. Well, I appreciate it, and I thank all of you. You've done. You've you've been a very good uh, president for many years, and I think anybody that's uh, been on this board for a while sees how it's progressed through the years. I mean, it's it was pretty. Uh, I get. I want to say mundane, but pretty pretty slow in the beginning. Last <laughs> since I've been with it, but it's progressed a lot, and we've gone in a lot of different areas. And uh, I think we got a ways to go, but I think this the people that we have here are going to uh, keep it up and uh, carry on the tradition. Thank you, Doug and. Gustavo, you're a, a very intricate part of that whole process. And uh, again, it's something that I'll always remember as I think back year after year after year going through these changes. Uh, you've been a, a real strong guiding force for the city of Cape Canaveral and uh, wish you a ton of success in your future endeavors. Thank you, Gene. I appreciate that. Um, I did forget one thing, by the way. Tuesday, October 1st, National Night Out uh, at Canaveral City Park. And that's the hosted by the officers, and it's a big opportunity for the community to come together and, and associate and mingle with all the awesome um, law enforcement and uh, fire rescue folks we have. So free hot dogs and burgers at Canaveral City Park at, I believe, 6 o'clock, right? Yes, 6 o'clock. Yes, Tuesday, October 1st. Tuesday, the 1st of October. Yes, sir. 6 or 6.30? 6. 6, okay. There might be a couple hot dogs left at 6.30. <laughs> One last quick item before we adjourn. Do we have trash containers at the dog park? As you walk in. They're not I, inside because... I looked because... at the last Friday fest. I couldn't find one. I just... Yeah, wanted... so we don't keep them inside the fence but they're right as you walk up. Because the city has this uh, deal with Waste Pro, Waste Pro changes all of our garbage cans at the parks, so we don't have to have a bunch of little cans that staff has to pull every time. So we do have a big Waste Pro container as you walk up to the park, and we do have doggy bags inside and outside yeah, of the park. Yeah, I saw that, I yes. saw that, but I didn't see the containers. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, at this point in time, I think we've covered all the business uh, at this uh, particular meeting, and the next meeting will be held on November the 1st. Um, <clears throat> it's a Thursday, and trust trust me, it's not Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving 21st. is 21st, 21st of November. 21st of November at 5.30, mark your calendars, and uh, Thanksgiving uh, is the following Thursday, so we're in good shape 21st. there. If there's no further business, we'd accept a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Okay, no and Mr. Holmes uh, makes a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Barbara. Barbara, Barbara. Barbara second. Okay. <laughs> All right, folks, we'll see you then on the 21st of November. And again, uh, thank you one and all for all your help and all your support. Thank you, Gene. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>